Hey, what's up all you boat owners? This is Peter from Bilbo's, and today we're gonna to be showing you how to bottom paint a 27 center console. If you have any questions, leave a comment below, uh, and don't forget to like and subscribe. Let's get into the video. All right, so we got a fresh tape line for, um, for the bottom paint, and uh, and just a little backstory on why you should use anti-fouling bottom paint on your boat is to protect the gel coat that's over the fiberglass, it's the shiny finish, from uh, getting attacked by barnacles. Uh, if a boat stays in the water, depending on the temperature and the location of the boat and the water flow, a, you know, a boat just in eight or nine, 10 days, we'll start showing little crustaceans on the bottom and they're extremely difficult to get off. And if you leave it on there long enough, it'll actually eat through the gel coat. So it's very important to have bottom paint on your boat if you're leaving it in the water for an extended amount of time without cleaning it. All right, so the first step after we have our tape line on is to prep everything below this tape line, prep it for the primer, which is the initial coat for bottom painting on a fresh, non-bottom painted boat. Um, so we're going to sand all this, and Greg is gonna give us a demonstration. All right, so now if you feel it, you'll feel all the little sand marks in there. And essentially what we're doing is roughing the gel coat up so the primer adheres to it. If you don't do this process, the paint will not adhere and it'll just chip away. Now that we've finished sanding the bottom with our 80 grit sandpaper, now it's time to prep the area for your primer. And in order to do that, you have to clean it. And uh, what we use here at Bilbo's is Prep All Wax and Grease Remover. And what you're gonna do, you're gonna get it on your rag and just wipe it clean. And this is gonna remove all that dust that'll prevent the primer from adhering to the surface. And then after you get done wiping with your wax and grease remover, you're gonna take a dry rag and wipe that off. And it's that easy, folks. Boom. All right, now to get ready for your priming, you're gonna get a paint tray and pour your primer in it. And then you're gonna need a nap roller, 5 8 nap with a brush, little chip brush. And first, I like to start by painting right below the tape. It's gonna give you a nice hard line. So you're just gonna take your primer and just run it right along this line. And you just go nice and easy rolls. So after you get done priming, you, you wanna let it dry a couple hours before you decide to um, start your bottom paint. And uh, again, it's, it's essentially the same process. You get your paint tray, you pour your bottom paint in the paint tray, and then you get a roller and, uh, and just roll your bottom paint right over your primer and you just roll everything. It's a pretty simple process. You wanna make sure to get an even coat. And, uh, and we, when on fresh bottom paint, we do two coats of bottom paint. So three coats all together, one primer, two bottom paint. And there's many different bottom paints out there. We do, like I said, use uh, Seahawk. It's been one of the um, you know, leading bottom paints in the industry for many years. And there you have it. You let those uh, dry a couple hours in between coats. And, uh, and there you go, you'll be good to go. All right, so now we're gonna get into all the work of painting it. And uh, we're gonna show you the process and video the whole thing for you guys. And, uh, and we'll show you the results afterwards.
Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. We're gonna be making a lot of these videos for you, so you know, let us know what you want us to do and, and what you guys wanna see, and thanks for watching.